Caution, the show that you have chosen to watch is costing you nothing. You may get what you pay for. asked for more video of the Fury. Well, I did just ride it to Sturgis and back and made like three videos out of that. But I didn't actually talk about the Fury. Now, I'm still waiting for a name for it. My buddy Kevin, he likes the Blue Angel. I uh, came up with that one. Thought about putting some yellow stripes right here like the Blue Angel jets have. What do you guys think? Uh, I thought about the Blue Flame. Because from the day that I first test rode the bike, I actually test rode another one, and I bought this one with zero miles on it. I think it had one. Regardless, uh, since the day I bought it, it's been the flame of my heart. It's been the one bike in the garage that I turn around and stare at. Um, you know, it's like a love affair. Anybody that you see that is beautiful to you, and you have to look over your shoulder as you step away from that person. It's the same with the bike. It really is my flame. The uh, bike itself, if I can say something I haven't said in other videos, the Fury just don't care. And in a good way. The Fury doesn't care if you're riding in high winds. And right now we're in Wyoming, and I'm not going to say the winds are high because they're really not. For Wyoming, this is really sedate. Very pretty in Wyoming, huh? The Fury just doesn't care if the winds are high. The wind just goes right through it both ways, every direction. The Fury doesn't care if you're doing 70 miles an hour in fourth gear. There are rev limiters. So it does care if you're in first gear and you try to do 40. You're going to hit a hard rev limiter. The Fury doesn't care if the road is wet and it's currently raining. Now I couldn't get you video of that coming home from Surges because I don't have the uh, waterproof doors on the GoPro because I'm using an external mic setup. Something that GoPro never really bothered to set up for anybody uh, because they could get you to buy extra um, adapters for it. But when you use the extra adapters of the GoPro, you no longer have a waterproof system. So, yeah, I rode from Sturgis through I-90 down to Rapid City and then from Rapid City, South Dakota, uh, down the twisty, windy, foggy, wet road to Keystone. I was drenched. And how difficult was it? It wasn't, because the Fury doesn't care. The Metzler tires are perfect in the rain. You can do 65 miles an hour on I-90, it does not care. The suspension of the Fury is not as good as a good, as a good cruiser. You will feel mm, quite a few of the bubblegum wads in the road. But you can throw yourself into some hard stuff, and the Fury just doesn't care. I've ridden it on gravel recently, while looking for a ghost town around Sturgis. Turns out that gravel road didn't lead to it, had to turn around and take it back. It's a little more forgiving than a Sportster, because a Sportster... This is Centennial, Wyoming, by the way. The Sportster can beat you up on any two inch potholes. Well, I got three and a half inches of suspension in the rear. And if you're hitting a pothole that's three and a half inches deep, I think you probably have worse uh, problems than how hard that's gonna feel on your butt. So anyway, have I told you anything new about the Fury? I don't know. With the Mustang seat and the bars brought back, it's all day comfortable for me. Country Junction. 
the old corral, hotel and steakhouse, the post restaurant and saloon. And we're gonna go eat at a place that you probably saw on my other channel, if I've even posted it yet. I think I have, Snowy Range. We are going up to Snowy Range. But first, we're gonna eat at the Bare Bottom Bar and Grill. Okay, so I'm in Centennial, which is the town right before Snowy Range, and I'm on the Fury that you guys always want to see more of. Oh, I don't get it. Why do you always want to see more of the Fury? Well, the Fury's my baby. And uh, this is Jeff, who has not been in any of my videos so far. He is my riding buddy today. Hey, Marshall. Thanks for taking me up here. It's an awesome hmm. spot. So, yeah, riding my wife's NC 750X today. Uh, Kind of a fun bike, perfect ride, perfect bike for this kind of riding, and uh, quite just been a fantastic bluebird day. It's warming up quickly, it's going to be a good one. So Jeff has not been up to Snowy Range yet, and uh, you, as my viewers, may not have been up to Snowy Range yet. Uh, if you've been on my other channel, Quiet Places with Marshall, then you may have seen it. Um, it is the best kept secret of Wyoming. We'll show you why, and anybody that's done the Wyoming BDR has probably seen it. So this is Jeff's NC750. Yep, two Hondas, one parking lot. Okay, before we head up there, I'm going to take off. I get asked this all the time, what is that windshield? It's a National Cycle windshield. Go to nationalcycle.com and you can find this windshield. And I'm going to take it off. So you get a better view of Snowy Range. You guys are like Marshall, quit screwing around. Now this shop is still closed, so we're gonna put it right underneath here. Hopefully it's still there when we get back. Oh, look at that, a Fury that's naked, almost. National Cycles windshield is just that easy. So when you buy the Fury, it looks more like this. Except take away the uh, phone holder. And this puts us very nicely out in the wind. scrape a peg here soon. <laughs> the Fury, if I recall correctly, has like a 26 point something lean angle on the right side and a 27 point something lean angle on the left, which is not a whole lot of lean angle, but it's enough to do roads like this. Snowy Range Pass, 11, uh, 10,847 feet. And we're gonna get a photo of the Fury right here. Well, 
What do you think of this place, Jeff? Awesome. Thank you for bringing me up here. Amazing scenery, amazing views, fun twisty <laughs> road. It's pretty hard to beat. Oh, I love that road. Yeah. We're like 70 degrees today. Torquey little V-twin motor. I just like hit those curves and I'm trying to watch my speed a little bit because I keep running up against the other trucks, but. Yeah, it had happened, but you know, you can handle the curves a little better and fun the way into it a little bit as well, so. Yeah, I gotta be careful not to scrape a peg because I only got like a 27 degree lean angle on this one, but. Yeah. Uh, yeah, when, the, I, when I used to take the gold wing up here, we just lay them on their sides. Yeah, you can definitely do that with those. So, Doc, did you hit your pipe from that one before you hit your peg? Or? Will I what? Did you hit the pipe on that before you hit the peg? Oh, no. Okay. No, it'll hit the pegs first. The, it's, the pegs have little drop downs that are yeah, meant well. to be scraped and removed off. <laughs> so Jeff's question is, can we park here? Well, this is Wyoming. This That's isn't Colorado. What's that? The answer is yes. Rules are far and few between in Wyoming. This is true. In fact, there's no parking lines anywhere. So park as you will. Cameron. And there's uh, there's our Rockies over there. See them in the distance there? I do. It's Cameron Pass up there we're looking at. Yep. I know. You want to know what the view is like from up here. Well, let's take a look. Like we said, that's Colorado down there. They took the binoculars down. Yeah. At least put a flag up there. Yeah. Strange. So, as uh, I said in one of my other videos, sometimes. The riding with Marshall crisscrosses into quiet places with Marshall. And if you get here just right, it's a quiet place. Do you see him yet? No, I hear him. Look at the purple flowers and then look to your right, diagonally. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, yep. He's just chilling. Yeah. Did you ever go up to that?
Is this not gorgeous or what? Jeff, I give to you Mirror Lake. I'm impressed. Beautiful spot. You know, I think I hate it. It takes away from the beauty of my bike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm slightly upstaged. That's right. The work of God. The work of man. I'm here for a reason. Oh, you want to go to the end of the road? Yeah. Okay. Back down for lunch? Works for me. Okay.
so as we come down now from the snowy range i just want to say thanks for watching if you have a youtube account please subscribe if you want to see more of the fury it's one of my favorite bikes so there will be more of the fury people keep asking about it and uh i'd also like you to watch my other channel if you get a moment quiet places with marshall sometimes that's even on the fury too but that one's mainly about finding places that quiet your soul. Photogenic places like ghost towns, rivers, mountains, you know. <laughs>